Hey YouTube, this is Ryan making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Um, I apologise for the ambient noise. It seems to be fairly busy here in the suburban backyard at the moment. Um, anyway, um, on to the... This is just a follow-up on files, but I'm doing more on the reforging and re-hardening of files. I truly believe, and, and, and it's fine just snapping a file off and making them as a striker, but I truly believe if you have access to a forge and can forge them and then into the shape you want and then re-hardening them, you'll get the best results out of them. Because what happens is you take them up to bright orange and then quench them in water. I don't advocate doing it in an oil because water is a more severe quench and it really brings them to their peak hardness and that is what you want for a striker. They have to be hard and to the point of being brittle. So the harder they are and to the point of being brittle, the better they're going to spark. And that's what I've found anyway in my journey through flint and steel um i have four of them now the, the, that's the reason why i'm shooting this again because i didn't include two that jack made me so i've got that's the one i made just recently nicholson file forged it into it then rehardened it sparks as good as like nearly as good as my kirkham's this one was made out of a Wilkinshire file, made by Jack. Um, yeah, sparks incredibly well. Again, just forged into shape and then re-hardened. These are a, a couple of B shapes that he made out of. I'm not sure which types of files are used, but again, spark really well. Uh, forged into shape and then rehardened, and that is, I think that's the key because what you're doing when you're rehardening them is you are specifically hardening them for making them into strikers. So that's why I advocate that if you have the op have the ability to do that, I really think you're going to get an advantage by doing that. So if you have it, have the chance, by all means, go out and try and do that. You know, like, um, it's such a... such a, a better thing for it because they spark so much better. Like, old files, snapped off old files work, but these work so much better they spark so much better once you re-harden them and that's I, I, that, it's just another discussion piece on that and just reiterating about reforging and re-hardening these files because I think you certainly should if you have the opportunity to do that To do that you know like um because once you get onto a sharp edge and that's just not falling for some reason you get such a better result and it's just a matter of taking it up to bright orange and then quenching it in water and leaving them hard. Don't temper them. Don't um, don't try and take them. Like don't try and temper them at all, because um, all you'll do is draw the draw their hardness down a little bit. Look, I'm showing you all of these, all these ones. Are sparking really well and 
that that that's that's the key to it. I, I think because as I said, you are basically making them specifically designed, like specifically hardening them to be strikers. Whereas a snapped or file is hardened to be a file. And whereas once you harden these, reharden them, you're making them into a striker. So if you have the opportunity to forge them and then reharden them, I think you'll you 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 will see the advantages of it. But anyway, that's just a follow-up on rehardening files. If you can get onto them, old files are cheap. They are, you, you can often get them for free or cost you a dollar. And if you can have the opportunity to get into, uh, like, have the access to a, fo a forge, take the time. It's not hard to do. Like, I had no forging no forging experience whatsoever and I knocked that up in about an hour's work and it was the first attempt and it sparks as good as my customs honestly it, it, it's like 90 95 96 percent as good as my customs so you know like you can get them you can get them to work really well without with little experience that's not to say i don't like my customs like um there is something to said about buying it from a master customs because these aren't as pretty as my master custom ones like that, that, that's as simple as that but these will serve and they make fire really easy too so yeah but anyway that's just a follow-up on reforging files as specifically as strikers and rehardening them as strikers. Anyway, thanks for watching.